In this video, I'll break down how to create an advanced freeze frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I am using a plugin and a preset to create this effect. You can probably still do it pretty much all for free, but I will be using a plugin and a preset. One is the camera shake preset, and one is a plugin that allows you to move the person kind of in 3D space. Obviously, if you've used Final Cut, you know that it's not really possible to do this really cool like 3D orientation, like rotating effect. Well, with this plugin, you'll be able to do this. Now, both of these preset and plugins is going to be for sale on my digital store so if you want to just save some time download the preset and the plugin you can do that obviously you can probably create this effect completely for free but i want to show you a really cool way of creating a really cool advanced freeze frame transition in final cut so here is the example that i'll be using to show you how to create that really cool like transition so what you want to do is you want to head over to the second clip and you're just going to make sure you're at the beginning of the second clip and then just click on option f all that's going to do is it's going to freeze the first frame of the second clip. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. See, the first frame of the second clip is just frozen. Now I'm going to click on this clip and click on Control D15. And all that's going to do is it's going to set the duration of the freeze frame to 15 frames. As you can see, this is what it looks like. All that happens is just the first frame of the second clip is frozen. So let's play the video and this is what it looks like. See, and then it just goes into the second clip. So there we go. As simple as that. It's just if you're just doing like you would like a basic freeze frame transition. So if you're you know new to video editing, this is how you create a freeze frame transition. You just freeze the first frame of the second clip and then place that freeze frame on top of the first clip. So what you want to do next is head over to the effects panel, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna type in draw mask. And what the draw mask is gonna allow you to do is it's going to allow you to cut out the subject. So simply drag it on top of the freeze frame and then just cut out the subject. Now I'm gonna do a very quick rough cutout just for the sake of the tutorial, but definitely take your time with this make sure it's really precise i have a whole video breaking down how to you know cut out a subject a much more like advanced version but I'll, this is basically just the tool you have to use is just the draw mask i'll go ahead and link that video up in the annotator cards if you're like really new to video editing and you want a more advanced video but it's just simply you're using the draw mask to cut out the subject and make sure you connect um the last point and as you can see there we go we can just drag this down a little bit and there you go now you have the cut out of polo g kind of pop up on screen so instead of the entire like frame frozen it's just the cutout so let's play the video and then as you can see the cutout pops up and then just transitions into the next clip so what you want to do next is you want to go over to the effects panel and if you download the preset from my digital store just type in transform now basically what this effect does or this plugin does is it basically allows you to use apple motions transform tool in final cut as you can see see all these different you know controls i can go over here to shear i can adjust this i can also head over here to rotation and then move it in 3d space as you can see in final cut all you have is just the x and y position rotation scale and anchor this is all you have in final cut but in apple motion you have way more controls so all this plugin does is again it takes apple motions controls and puts them into final cut which is just going to save you a lot of time so now what you want to do is you want to animate that cutout so you want to make sure you're at the beginning of the actual cutout and we're going to zoom out to let's say like 50 percent now what you want to do is you want to figure out what you want to animate so in this case we're going to take the position we're going to drag Drag it off the screen so simply gonna drag polo g by hovering the position just dragging it off screen so we're gonna have them start off at 140 um, pixels now we're gonna take the rotation we're gonna take the y and we're gonna start it at 360 degrees we're gonna take the scale and change it to zero now what you want to do is you want to place a keyframe on scale a keyframe on the y rotation and then a keyframe on position those are the three like parameters we're going to be animating so what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the actual cutout then what we're going to do is we're going to take the position where we want the position to be back at zero we want the y rotation to be back at zero and we want the scale to be back to 100 and there you go that's pretty much how you use the transform tool now of course there are a whole bunch of other settings but those are just the things that i want to animate so now let's play the video and make sure everything's keyframed and if i play the video go frame by frame you can see now the cutout is just kind of rotating on screen and there we go so that's basically how you do you're just keyframing it and there you go you have a really clean um, animation animation and there we go that's really really cool obviously i want to show you a much more advanced way but there you go that's how you use the transform tool and that's basically how you animate a um, freeze frame so there we go there's a you know a very basic 101 of how to create a freeze frame transition so what you're going to do is you're going to add an adjustment layer now this is a free plugin from ryan nagel and if you watch my channel you probably know about this plugin and you probably already have it now in this case we're going to take the adjustment layer we're going to set to Control d six frames so we're going to set it to six frames this is kind of really important so what you want to do is we're going to go forward 
one, two frames. We're going to place a marker and we want that marker to be right in between the two clips. So between clip one, clip one and clip two. So you have the first two frames, one, two, and the adjustment layer dur duration is set to six frames. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add the camera shake preset. So if I head over here to camera shakes, and this is basically the camera shake preset. So this is the one you'll get when you buy the when you buy the um, plugin. So there we go. Now you have the camera shake preset. And all this basically does is if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It just, you can see, it gives a little bit of like camera shake. And there you go, as simple as that, you can just drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Now if you bought this, you may realize it's not really going in the direction that I want it to, or I want to tweak it a little bit. Well, here are a couple things you can do to kind of customize it. You can select on the adjustment layer, right click, and click on show video animations. And then as you can see, here are all the different keyframes. So if maybe you're using like a a different I'm using a 24p timeline but if you're using like a 30 frames per second timeline you might want to adjust the keyframes but there you go those are all the keyframes you see simple as that now I can just you know drag them uh, like front and back so I can take this keyframe and I want to drag it over here now of course you'd have to like uh, see in this case let's expand the adjustment layer and then as you can see see you can kind of like move the keyframes so you can basically open up these show video animations and you can mess the keyframe so let's say it's the um shake preset is too fast you can drag the keyframe out or it's too slow you can drag them in so this is basically how you customize it all i basically did was i keyframe the position now you can also leave this open now what you can do is you can go frame by frame so let's click on the transform tool and we can kind of go frame by frame and to see how it looks as you can see this is what it looks like so you can kind of go forward and let's say this looks a little bit off you could just take the position and maybe drag it something like this or I'll take the X or do something like this so you basically kind of go frame by frame you can mess with the position all this preset is I just basically keyframe the position so you can really easily customize it and so if it's going too slow or it's not really the position that you want all the the only point of this preset is to just save you a lot of time so it's already pre-built and you can easily customize it so as you can see there we go see we, we changed the position a little bit so there you go you can really easily customize it and adjust the, the length of the um, keyframes if uh, sometimes you may want to do uh, like expand the adjustment adjustment layer and then you adjust the keyframe so it's just very customizable again all this does is it basically just saves you a lot of time so instead of having to manually go through and you know adjust all the keyframes this is just going to save you a lot of time now this if you want to know how to create this completely from scratch I have a video called the base shake effect so all I basically do is I took that like base shake effect tutorial and then made it into a preset so there we go simply drag it on top of the adjustment layer and then adjust the keyframes and adjust the position it's a very like customizable um, preset now if you see if I play the video or you know you're applying the effect and you realize you see some of the black background so you see if I play frame by frame you can see you see some of the black background so you see it's not completely zoomed and you and you look at it and you say that looks really weird but don't worry there's a really easy fix you can see you can see some of the background which obviously looks really weird so what you want to do is you want to head over here and you're just going to take an adjustment layer and you're going to drag it on top of all the clips you're I'm just going to drag the adjustment layer on top of all the clips. Now what you're going to do is you're basically just going to click on the adjustment layer and now you can adjust the scale and position of all of these clips. So instead of individually doing these clips, you can just apply an adjustment layer. Now if I take this scale, I want to increase the scale a little bit and I want to maybe take the position down and you'll see now the black bar, the black background should be away. So let's go ahead and play the video as you can see see there we go see now if I play it frame by frame you can see now you don't see any of the black background and of course if I disable it as you can see now you can see some of the background so you can just add an adjustment layer on top of all the clips and as you can see there we go you don't see any of the black background so you don't see any of the background which obviously looks really weird so really simple just place an adjustment layer place on all the clips the, fir the first clip the second clip and the cutout and there you go now you don't see any of the black background and of course the last step to any like keyframe animation or any kind of freeze frame animation is you want to add some motion blur this is a free plugin the link should be down in the description below so there we go you just simply take the motion blur and you're going to place it on top of wherever you're having any kind of animation so you see i place it on top of the keyframe animation the like the freeze frame animation and then i place it on top of the actual like you see shake preset so you just simply add motion blur on top of you know, or just place it wherever you want the blur to happen in this case we're going to have the blur happen so if you see if i play it frame by frame you can see the cutout is blurred as well as you can see now the shake is blur a little bit so there you go you just want to add motion blur it's going to help smooth out the animation and it will overall make the effect look a lot nicer so let's go ahead and play the video and then as you can see boom you have a really really cool advanced freeze frame transition and there you go as simple as that now that is a very like very basic you know 101 way of how to create this freeze frame transition there are a whole bunch of different things you can do you can of course you know keyframe the cutout to maybe not have it like rotate in 3d space but you could have it you know scale up or scale in or adjust the 
or kind of like keyframe the position as well as you can go through the shake preset and you'll customize it to get a certain look that you want. So again, you can basically just select on the adjustment layer, right click on it and click on show video animations. And of course, you know, adjust the length, how fast you want or how slow you want. Of course, you could also go to each individual keyframe and then you can see you know what I actually key from the position and of course adjust it accordingly now this is a preset so this is not a plugin this a camera shake this you know transform tool if this is a plugin this is not a plugin this is a preset so you have to put it in your effects preset folder I will put the video up on screen showing you how to install it but simple as that again this is a very like basic one-on-one -on -one way of doing it you can of course you know mess with it mess with the timing of the shake mess with the you know, the animation however you want it to look but I just want to show you a very very basic one-on-one -on -one way of how to create a really advanced freeze frame transition so instead of just having this the cutout slide on you can add a little bit of shake to it and it will just give more impact and more life to your video and i think it'll look really good of course if you have this in like a really like hard really hard like beat hit it's going to look so so good but there you go that's how you create this really cool advanced freeze frame transition in final cut using two of my presets the camera shake preset and the transform tool of course you can do this completely for free in final cut but my hope was to create these presets to help to help you save a lot of time and just make the overall editing process a lot easier anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video if you enjoy these types of videos definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to check out my digital store where i sell final cut pro 10 presets plugins and overlays anyways i will see you in the next one peace